welcome to my living room tour in this video i will show you the tv area the dining area and all my other accessories we have to start off with the most important item and that is my 65 inch 4k lg oled tv the living room do not get as much light during the day that's why i opted for the oled instead of the qled tv the OLED panel works best in the dark environment due to the reflection. But the colors and the blacks are just really good. The TV has 120Hz, which is nice to have when I want to game. The tin vessels give the TV a sleek look. And if you use your TV a lot, I really recommend that you invest in a good one. As for my speaker setup, I used the Sonos ecosystem throughout the whole apartment. In the living room, I have the Sonos Arc, which has 11 amplifiers, and this is connected to my Sonos Sub, as well as my two rear Sonos ones. These speakers combined give me a fantastic audio experience. The speakers has Dolby Atmos, which give you a 3D sound and all the latest technologies. All the solo speakers are wireless, which makes it easy to set up. You do not need to buy all the speakers at the same time. I suggest you start off with the soundbar and then the solo sub. The last purchase should be the rear speakers. As for the smart home features, you can connect the solo system to Google Home. I have Sono speakers in all my rooms, and that means I can use the Google Assistant anywhere in the apartments. For my media bench, you will find all the internet equipment as well as my PS4 Slim. I do not use the PS4 anymore because I use my PC, which I have in my office. If I want to play games here, I just move the PC and plug in the power cable and HDMI cable but I still use the PS4 controller when I want to play in the living room. This bench had legs before, but we had to remove it. When we installed the TV, we have marked out everything, but then we put the TV on the wall and we noticed that it sat a bit lower than we planned out. The Sonos bar covered up the lower part of the TV, so I decided to remove the legs because we were actually really happy where the TV was positioned. I have installed lights behind my bench as well as behind my plants. The ambient lighting gives me the opportunity to change the colors based on the vibe. For most part, I like to use natural warm colors. All my lights are from a company called Wiss. They have a lot of products that is way cheaper than the Ellipse Hue lights. I have paired up all my lights to Google Home. I can control the lights from my voice or the app. The app is really user friendly. As for my plants, I just have a fake plant to give the room some greenery and it's a great way to fill empty spaces. Next is my couch. Aesthetic wise, I think it looks beautiful. It's not the most comfortable, but I really like the light beige color works great with the wooden accents as well as the green walls. I got the green and dark red pillows to contrast the light beige color. The size is perfect, but for my next couch it will need to be more comfortable, but I can compromise for the aesthetics. You do not need to be an interior designer to see that an empty wall is not the way to go. So I did order some posters. No idea what these designs should express, but I just like the minimalistic and natural feel of it. This works great to fill up an empty wall. It's a small cost that gives the room a lot more personality. As for the living room table, I opted for the black table to match the color of the bench. The size is perfect, but I miss the storage opportunities. I do not have any place for my TV remote, PS4 controller and my other small things. I lose my TV remote way too often. One more thing to keep in mind when I want to buy a new living room table. Let's talk about this iPad. This is the iPad Pro 12.9 inch 2021 model with the M1 chip. It's incredibly thin and powerful. 
I use it a lot. Nowadays, I use it to surf on the internet, to watch YouTube, and my cat loves playing games on it as well. I used Apple Pencil all the time in college, taking notes as well as my exams. After graduation, I didn't use it anymore, but it's still a nice accessory to have. As we move over to the dining table, I wanted a table with a light wooden color to contrast against a dark green wall, and it kind of matched the color of my couch. The table can extend so you can get five people seated on each side. As you can see, the wall looks a bit too empty. I was thinking about ordering a mirror. The benefit of having a mirror is that the lights can be reflected, which gives me more even lighting. Moving on, this is my display cabinet. On the top, I have a poster of the Fuji Mountain. I needed a bit more light in this part of the room, so I added a lamp. The vase is empty due to one thing, that's her. A couple of weeks ago I bought straws, but it didn't take long before her damaged everything. One time I got back from work, it looked like a straw massacre. Further down the cabinet I have some wine glasses, a bowl and some wine. I'm not an alcohol lover, but I appreciate a good red wine. To the right of the cabinet, I have my guitar. I think it fits really well between the media bench and the cabinet. It is beautiful to look at. It contrasts well with the blacks and the beige colors around it. I did play a lot before, but I attend starting playing more on the guitar soon. I hope you like my living room setup and maybe it gave you some inspiration as well. Thank you for watching.